Hi, my name is Ankit Shah and I'm from Agilent Technologies. Agilent now offers a range of supplies for your Perkin Elmer, ICPMS, ICP OES, and atomic absorption systems like the Pinnacle 900Z. This is an instructional video to help you achieve the best performance and productivity for your Perkin Elmer atomic absorption systems. And I'm going to start off by showing you how to replace the graphite tubes. Before we replace the graphite tube, we need to clear the order sampler. Release the left and the right locking knobs and swing the order sampler away. Click the open close furnace button in the furnace control window of the software. Then swing the support lever to the side. Tilt the front contact housing downwards. Use the insertion removal tool to remove the graphite tube. Orient the tube and verify that the side of the tube securing the platform is on the left hand side of the furnace. Using the insertion removal tool, place the graphite tube into the rear contact. Carefully tilt the front contact housing up into the closed position. Swing the support lever underneath. Click the open close furnace button in the furnace control window to secure the workhead. Swivel the furnace auto sampler back into position and secure. Check the alignment which I will show you next. This procedure checks that the auto sampler tip is aligned with the injection hole. Click the align tip in the furnace control window to bring up the align auto sampler tip wizard and then select the align the auto sampler tip in the graphite tube. The auto sampler arm is unlocked and the pipette tip is moved directly above the graphite tube. Use the depth control wheel to lower the pipette tip until it is just above the graphite tube. Continue lowering the tip and adjusting its position left and right, forward and backward until the pipette tip is positioned just inside the injection hole of the graphite tube. Use the tube view window in the software to see the location of the tip inside the graphite tube. Use the depth knob to position the tip one or two millimeters above the platform. If you adjust too low, click back and try again. Click finish to save the position. Care is required when developing a new furnace program or changing parameters from the default method. Poor drying conditions can result in sample spattering inside the tube, degrading sensitivity and precision. Carefully monitor the sample in the drying phase using the furnace viewing camera or the dental mirror. If you see the sample boiling vigorously, change the furnace method, increase the ramp time or the drying steps, or reduce the programmed temperatures. With the correct drying conditions, the sample will dry smoothly and evenly in the drying phase of the program. Release the order sampler by undoing the left and the right knob and swing the order sampler away. To remove the graphite tube, click the open close button in the furnace control window of the software. Remove the graphite tube. Insert the new graphite tube into the right hand side of the furnace contacts. With the flat side of the alignment tool facing left, insert the tool into the sample injection port and align the graphite tube. Click the open close button in the furnace control window to close the furnace. Remove the alignment tool and check the alignment of the furnace. Unlock the furnace by moving the locking lever to the left. Remove the vertical alignment cover. Rotate the horizontal alignment control in small increments to minimize the absorbance reading. Repeat the horizontal and vertical adjustments until the absorbance is minimized. Move the locking lever to the right to lock the furnace in place. Refit the vertical alignment cover. Swing the order sampler in place and lock it in. Check for the alignment and the dispensing height. This is covered in other sections of this video. Please see the other videos in the series for the use of Agilent supplies and maintenance of your Perkin Elmer Optima ICP OES.